Hey everybody, Winshriek here. Today's request comes from TS via the comments section on one of my other YouTube videos. So, uh, he's looking to scroll through his items with the mouse scroller and essentially pick what item that he wants to use. He's building a farming game, so I kind of kept that uh, routine going. Um, but this can be used for like scrolling through guns or scrolling through inventory items like potions and whatnot, stuff you'd want to use on the fly. So, without further ado, we'll hop into my project. It's already got some graphics, just to save us some time here. This would would have been a really long one, so try to cut back on watch uh, time required from you guys. And I do have some images. I grabbed these from Shikashi. Uh, it's his fantasy pack, and you can get them for free off the old interwebs, and I'll throw a link down in the comments. Um, but what I have here broken down, I have what my current action is, which is just this one blank, uh, well not blank, it's got a black border and like a light colored background, and that just shows the actual action itself. So I just center that right there, and the action itself has five different animations in total. Uh, hands, pickaxe, shovel, water, walk. Obviously these can be whatever you want. This is just each time I change. Um, this will show me what one I'm currently have equipped. So I'm going to start it out as hands, nothing equipped. And then um, actually I can move this. So I was going to do a little bit of action with uh, what plot of land you're at. And that's why I have this little red sprite. It's see-through outside of a red border. It would just select what one you're closest to. Oops. Undo that. Uh, we're not going to worry about that right now. Uh, so I'll just throw that up there. Um, this has, again, five different terrible animations that I just drew myself real quick. But it just shows different steps of the growing process. And we won't really go too much into that, but... Uh, we'll get it to show, uh, hopefully, that we can get something planted here or tilled here or something along those lines. And then I just have my lovely little hero. He's not going to have any animations. He'll just move to where I click. And, yeah, without further ado, we'll hop into the code. And we're going to start out. I need a uh, global. So this is going to be my counter and it's going to start at zero and I'm going to copy paste that because I also want a current equip and if you guys are ever thinking man he's so fast at knowing what he wants I dry run these before I start my channel so I go through it once and if they're complicated I'll even do a screenshot so I have something to look into I make a lot of mistakes and have to go back and edit stuff all the time when I'm doing code so don't feel bad when it takes you minutes or even hours to figure out how you want something to work correctly um, but back at it so we got current equip uh, we're gonna start out with our current equip being zero and that will turn into meaning something soon but first I want every tick and during the every tick I want it to show an action based on what my current equip is so I'm gonna add a blank sub event and I'm just going to compare what my current equip is one at a time so paste 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 and easy enough if it's zero it'll do something if it's one it'll do something else two three four and they'll each have their own different thing and what each of these will do is set my action to a specific animation so if it's zero we'll set the animation to and if you erase your animation and type in your first uh, parenthesis, or not parenthesis, quotation, sorry, um, it'll show you the list of all of the animation names you have. It's just a nice little reminder. But uh, we'll start with hands, and I'll copy paste this down here just because it's easier for me. And it auto highlights that. And these are almost in order pickaxe, and shovel. And water. Nope, that's not water. Water. And walk. Uh, 
All right, so we got that, and now we want to be able to scroll through. And we will do that with the mouse wheel. Oh, I did add mouse, by the way. And one other thing, I added move to behavior on our character. So mouse is in here, and move to on our character, uh, which I'll be using both of. And we'll go ahead and... Oh, I think I clicked on something weird. Use a mouse action. And we want mouse wheel. So when we scroll up, we want it to count down. So we will subtract one from current equipped. And subtract from counter one. And then we'll add a catch here. So blank sub event. And essentially if our current equip and I'm going to erase counter. I just remembered I planned to do a counter to preset a bunch of stuff, and I never ended up using it. Um, so, boop, counter's gone. Now I have one less thing to click through in order to get to my stuff. But uh, if current equip is, and we're going to set this to less than zero. Oh, no, I deleted my first one. Uh, subtract from. Subtract by one. And then, so when we mouse up it will subtract one each time our mouse clicks um, and if after it subtracts one our current equipment value is less than zero we just want to reset that to zero and essentially what that will do is catch us from being able to continue to scroll upwards while we're already at zero um, you could do a catch here that sets it to four if you want it to scroll all the way through um, but I'm gonna have two ends here one on each side uh, where you can scroll up all the way real fast and get to your first one and scroll down all the way fast and get to your last one. Um, so if your current equip is less than zero set value current equip to zero and I'm going to copy paste this because we're going to do the same thing but backwards for down. So if we scroll down we're going to add one to current equip so I'll have to go back one more page add one and if we are greater than four because that is our highest equipment we have. Oop, I didn't change it. We are going to set it to 4. So greater than 4. And we'll set it to 4 there. And <coughs> that'll let us scroll through. And you can see as I scroll, uh, we can go through each one. It's hard to hear with scrolling, but as I continue to scroll, nothing happens. And that's how we want it to roll. And now to make use of that, we can do, our first thing will be walking. So on mouse click, um, just on left click, and on action, compare is playing to, let's say walk. And now we can move our hero to, move to position, and we'll just throw down mouse X, mouse Y. And now we can come in here. And you can hear I'm clicking and nothing happens. And I'll scroll down. And that's my walk animation. And now I can click and he'll walk. And that looks gross. I'm going to just move this Z uh, layer down. Uh, send a bottom a layer. I want him to be behind my character. Not that that matters but just so it looks a little better. And then we'll add another event. And let's see, we can do left click on object. And I want the object to be land. And then we'll do another check for our action here. So if our action is playing, and we want this one to be shovel. And if land is playing, and we want this one to be dirt. So if both these are happening when we click on land, we want to set that land animation to the next animation. So it will go to uh, plowed, tilled, whatever it's called. And get those lovely line actions in there. So we can click on it, nothing happens. Um, I can click on it with the move and I'll walk right on top of it and I can scroll up to my shovel and I can click on it and it moves to the next 
stage and I'll walk away here to show you and there we go so that's uh that's it and as we want to keep moving we would set more if the action is water and animation is playing mm, ba -ba -ba -ba. we wouldn't want it to be dirt we'd want it to be planted which we don't have a way to get it to planted but then we'd set it to a growing plant and so on and so forth and you can do any combination you can think of or want and work up from there uh, hopefully this gets you started and makes that uh, scroll through inventory uh, a lot easier for you and if you guys have anything you guys want me to do or any questions comments concerns just wanna compliment something in the video or make fun of something in the video I don't care throw it in the comments keep it PG 13 at the worst though be nice to people uh, but otherwise you all have a great night and I'll catch you on the next one